It's so amazing to uh, see the legacies that people leave behind. Yeah. Um, I actually have another one um, to share with, with the viewers. Sharon Irwin. Sharon was born in 1957 and was adopted at an early age by Roy and Winnie Irwin, who farmed at Radisson. Realizing Sharon needed special education, they moved to Saskatoon when she was about age seven. Sharon attended John Dolan School and later worked at Cosmopolitan Industries. Sharon and her parents enjoyed many years together, along with holidays and family visits to BC, Alberta, and throughout Saskatchewan. After her parents' passing, Sharon moved into Elmwood Manor in Saskatoon, where she lived for the past 15 years. Sharon thoroughly enjoyed watching Telemiracle and attended many telethons in person. Sharon passed away in 2020 at the age of 63. Kinsman Telemiracle would like to thank Sharon for her generous gift of $3,230. And again, the plan giving and the legacy that uh, the people of Saskatchewan want to uh, want to take part in Telemiracle um, after they've passed, it's just, it's, it's heartwarming, heart-wrenching even, you know, and uh, it's, just, it's so amazing. It really is. You know, it's, it's one of those things that every single year and every single time we do it, I get goosebumps. It's true. And uh, I don't know what other, what other better way you right. could uh, leave your legacy yes, here so in the true. province. Your money is in good hands with the Telemiracle Foundation. Yes, it is. Now, Jess, we'd love to see what's up next on the show. Well, I believe we are throwing to um, Jeffrey and Jill Straker. We've got another awesome cast performance for you guys coming right up. This is a thousand miles away. Every year leading up to the Telemiracle broadcast, except this year, of course, we get to travel around Saskatchewan visiting people and organizations who benefit from the dollars that come in through the telethon and then through the Kinsman Foundation go out to help all these people and organizations who can, who can, who can use it and who are in need of it. And we meet so many wonderful people out there across the province who've benefited from this money. And I cannot tell you, the, the viewers out there, how grateful these people are. Um, and it's one of the things that always strikes me every year doing the broadcast is that the most humbling part of this, the most beautiful part, is, is the generosity of all of you who don't need to call in a donation, but you do. And you do it because you know it's helping people in your community, it's helping your neighbors, it's helping people around you. So I want to do a song that I wrote thinking about Saskatchewan when I was out touring on the road. And it's, it's thinking about how great this place is, how wonderful the people are. And this is uh, something I realized about the place actually by traveling far away from it. And it's called A Thousand Miles Away. Part of me that never ever left the farm There's a part of me that's still out on the land I see an open sky glow It's a letter sent from home With a full moon postage stamp I've crossed through majestic Rocky Mountains Put me out to sea And I've tried my shoes out in the city Under bright lights Down in pavement and concrete Distance, I'm a thinking I was wrong. 
When you're off chasing body that are missing Oh, there's no hope Telling what you're gonna see And buried between hope and consequence I met a stranger who looked a lot like me Looking for a place where my heart belongs Where beauty put a smile on my face And I wonder if I'd have ever seen it If I'd not been looking back from a thousand miles away Trace the full circle that I have come With you staring up at the starry night sky And I think of all the roads I had to travel See what was before my very eye Was looking for a place I finally saw you from a thousand miles away. And another incredible performance from Jeffrey and Jill Straker. I am joined here from a couple of lovely ladies from the Assiniboia Canets. How are you guys doing today? We're good. How are you? I'm great. I'm just so excited that this is still going. And I have to see you through the looking glass here, as I'm affectionately calling our plexi. But it's nice to see you in person regardless. Nice to see you, too. We're happy to be here. Well, so what do you've got for us today? How did you raise some money for Tell a Miracle? So I'm Lisa, and this is Sasset. And actually we have some community, do community donations as well as some fundraisers that we have done. Awesome. So our friends at Eastside Port and Assiniboia raised $270. The Assiniboia Elementary School awesome. students and staff raised $271.25. The Assiniboia 7th Avenue School raised $340. The staff and students at Moss Bank School sold helping hands, sold ice cream, and accepted commu community donations. Their total is $717.04. The Station Spin Studio in Rock Glen and Stride Spin Studio in Assiniboia each held a spinathon. Their motivators volunteered their time, both had prize parade raffles, and the participants collected pledges. The station would like to donate their funds in memory of Katie Daschuk Merritt, who recently lost her battle to cervical cancer. They raised $15,090. Wow. Stride Spin Studio raised $16,145. So along with other donations, our community total is $33,683.29. Wow, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That absolutely deserves a round of applause. Well, thank you so much for your generous donation. Thanks to Assiniboia and the, the entire community and surrounding communities. It means the world to us. We're so excited and thankful to have you here. Us too, thanks so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> These Kim's Minute Connects clubs just never cease to amaze me. It's absolutely incredible. It's Both absolutely of us were speechless there for a second. We just were like, I don't know. I don't uh, even know anymore. It's so fantastic. Keep, they just keep bringing big checks. Right. And because of that, though, we want to make sure the phone banks are still busy back here, even with these big donations coming in. We're going to do a knockdown total. So anyone absolutely. who isn't on the phone, please stand up. Come on, everybody. Catch one. Get calling in. We want to see these people sitting down yeah, and busy. So, so. And once again, we want to remind you, there are two other banks that aren't in this room here That's at right. 24 each 
And hey, if you're we trying to call in and you can't there. get through, nope. try again no, because we have about half of the, or maybe even a third of the uh, phones that we normally do, but we have a lot of great volunteers. That's that right, and we have less than four hours to go in the telethon, so now yeah, the time the to other call. Room. Make your pledge, and uh, yeah, we have people signing up in the other rooms. 306-683-2021. That number again, 306-683-2021. Let's knock them down. It's been a long day already. We're going to bring the energy right up until the end. But, I mean, these people want to have a seat. That's right. And if you have a... I think there's one left, two left. If you have a, like a little girl said, a grade oneer at home, the challenge is $5 for your grade oneer. I just love that that little girl ordered it. One left. Just come on, Saskatchewan. We can get them down. request for your telemiracle You can do it. Let's do it. That's right, Jeff. Teddy's dancing. All right. We have a total. Looks like we got one. Let's see what where we're at now. Six, eight, nine, four, eight, $3,484,986 one, but we can take this higher, can't we? Where are we going, Jill? We're Higher, Chris. Oh, we're going higher. We're going to raise the roof on this higher. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of keeping things going, up next we got some more SAS talent. I'm going to be tuning in with Andrea and Jesse. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good, good. good wow. to see you. Look at that. What's on that screen there? You got a fireplace going. That seems like a nice room in there. Yeah, it's our studio. This is where we do our live streaming on Twitch. <laughs> oh, awesome, awesome. And what are you guys going to be uh, singing for us today? Tell us a bit about that. We're going to be singing an original song called Wanting You. And we wrote that song together as well as with uh, Doug Sylvester. He's a songwriter from North Battleford. Wow. And, and where'd the yeah, song we come shot, from? Uh, music so Sorry? Where'd the, where'd the song come from, the idea and the inspiration behind it? Oh, the song is about uh, being in a long distance, distance relationship. So it's just really about. It's just about the distance and how you just miss the person you want them. And it's just that being a separate from them. Exactly. Yeah, that's awesome. And I see you guys have um, raised some money. Talk to us a bit about that, how you how you did that this year. Uh, we surpassed our fundraising goal of $500 by doing two charity live stream concerts on Twitch. So my Twitch community and close friends and family helped us raise $676 for Telemiracle in just one week. Wow, and, and just so you know, Nutrien is matching every Sask Talent donation today. So basically they've doubled your money, which is, which is really incredible. So let's uh, see Andrea Ann um, singing an original song called Wanting You yep. with Jesse.
Another incredible oh. Saskatchewan performance. Right? So beautiful. And these videos are amazing. Like, you know, Sas, Sas Town, I don't I guess I didn't know what to expect this year, but yeah, some of these videos are just top notch. Excellent job, Andrea. Yeah. Jesse. Chase. Yeah, it's beautiful. And one thing I was I was chatting with Chris about a bit is that since we don't have, you know, the, the high school um, teams coming in to do the physical tote board numbers this year, um, when you hear the voices when, uh, when, they're, when we're doing our totals, those are schools in Saskatchewan that the kids help yell out the numbers. So they're, they're here in spirit, I guess, since they couldn't be with us. And, you know, it's, it kind of makes me smile every single time. It you totally know, you, does. You can just imagine the kids uh, around. Yeah, so we want to thank um, all the schools that helped us do that this year because you're still, you're still part, part of Tell a Miracle and we couldn't have done it without you. We're sure thankful to have you. Yes. And speaking of people we're thankful to have. It's true. Ladies and gentlemen, otherwise, Mr. Max Shepard has had another live performance here for you today. All right, so I thought I'd just play one that uh, over the past year, Beverly Mahood and myself um, and with the rest of our team down in Nashville have been doing lots of writing. And I just wanted to kind of bring in some summer vibes. And since it's pretty cold right now here in Saskatchewan, sort of get us back into that summer feeling. This song's called Taste Like Summer. Miami sunset, champagne for days. Whoop, bottle, no better place. You're coming closer, why don't you stay? Bring all that over, love's on my brain and baby. You can save me from tonight Sweet skin, let's let the breeze in. Look at the ocean, let's go get swept in. I'm gonna save it this. Girl, you're my favorite all day, every day. Love it through the night, say. honorary Saskatchewan family members, that is Max Shepard. What I've been loving about Telemiracle this year is that we've been hearing more and more original music, just like that song that Mac wrote. We've got a brand new Telemiracle theme song written by Beverly, Jeffrey, and Mac as well. So it's been a really fun year to shake things up a bit and, and get original. So um, I really want to chat with Jordan right now. She's tuning in from Assiniboia, and uh, she's going to be singing a song for us. How are you doing, Jordan? I'm good, thank you. Good. Is this your first time being a part of Tell a Miracle? No, second. I was a part of it last year. Oh, that's awesome. Do you remember what you sang last year? Uh, Daddy's Hands by Holly Dunn. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful song. Oh, that would have made me cry. <laughs> and I see that you raised some money for us today, Jordan. How did you do that? I did. So, the Assiniboine Kidsman did a two-night-only Beef on the Bun 
and that made $1,420. Wow. And the way I helped with that was helping them out with deliveries. Um, so thank you to the Assiniboine Kinsman Club. I sold raffle tickets to win a PS5, and they sold out almost immediately. So thank you to those who purchased tickets. That brought the total to $2,500. And then I also accepted personal donations from my community, which brought the total $1,820, giving us a grand total of $7,150. Wow, oh my gosh, and you may have heard this, Jordan, but Nutrien is actually matching all of the Saskatchewan talent donations that you guys have been bringing in up to $100,000. So your total is massive and we cannot thank you enough, not only for your monetary donation, but for your time and for your song. So um, tell us a little bit about the song that you'll be singing today. So the song I'm singing is Beautiful by Christina Aguilera. And I think it's a great piece for Telemiracle because it is so uplifting and anybody who feels insecure in their own body, it will just give them a lot of hope and it's just a great uplifting song. I couldn't have said it any better myself. Take it away, this is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful job by Jordan right there. 
it's gorgeous. Yeah, absolutely. Well, before we go any further, I want to remind you one more time, and we're going to remind you a few more times, but we got our friend Howie the Bear here. Call us and, and uh, call in at 306-683-2021, and you got to make a minimum donation of $145 and specifically ask for them. So, uh, I'm going to throw out a challenge. Somebody called me on uh, somewhere in the media this week because people have been teasing me about it for a few days now. Somebody referred to me as Saskatchewan's favorite cowboy, which is kind of laughable, <laughs> really. Um, but what I would like to do is anyone who owns a pair of cowboy boots or a cowboy hat, I'm throwing out a challenge to you to buy your mom or your grandma or your daughter, somebody in your life. Uh, a bear. So for me, it's going to be my mom. So I'm going to throw that challenge out to make sure that you uh, pick that's, up a Howie. That's a great challenge. And you know, these bears, um, I have bears of past telling miracles um, sitting up on a ledge in my house. And you know, when you when you pledge, like this here's $145 or more, and you request the bear, you get the bear in the mail. They mail them in June, but then you have that bear the whole year round. And you can see it, you look at it, it's a reminder of your donation, it's a reminder of telling miracle, it's a reminder of the people that you're helping in Saskatchewan. And that's what I like about the bears, even though my daughter just likes hugging them and checks, she's checking the mailbox tomorrow, I guarantee it. Um, <laughs> but it's just, it's that reminder, that all year long reminder. And it's an, it's excitement, you know, when Telemiracle rolls again for the next year and you know there's going to be a new bear. I just, I absolutely love it. So, um, you know, uh, the bears are huggable. You know who else is huggable? Andrea Menard, part I, of our national cast. Can't wait till I can hug her again. I can't wait till I can hug her again, yeah. too. She gives the best hugs. And we have another um, fantastic pre recorded performance from Andrea Menard, and um, she's singing The Return of the Belle of Batosh. Hello, the people of Saskatchewan. I am so happy to be home. As you know, this is home to me and always will be. And I would like to sing a song about. The Belle of Batosh, the return of the Belle of Batosh that came home to Saskatchewan after many, 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 many years. And I sang, we, I wrote this song with Robert Walsh for the ceremony back in 2013. So I would like to dedicate this song to all of the Métis people, whether you're up north in Isle of Cross or you're south in Labret or you're along the South Saskatchewan of Batosh or Bellevue, I would like you to call in 683-2021 Call in and make a donation for the people in your communities, for our Métis brothers and sisters out there who may need your help. So this is for you. This is for us. This is the return of Bella Batosh.
an amazing performance by our very own Andrea Menard. And you know, I'm looking at the screen and I keep looking at this year's logo. And I'm thinking of how together we're a family here in Saskatchewan. And it makes me think of how all the money stays right here in the province. Um, and up next, we're gonna take a look at how telemiracle fundraising is often done in unique and fun ways. This is especially true in the case of the College of Agriculture. It's an interesting story of a Made in Saskatchewan partnership, so let's see where that money is going. Telemiracle and the University of Saskatchewan's College of Agriculture have gone hand in hand for almost 40 years. The very first bed push from Saskatoon to Regina happened in 1982. It probably was just a bunch of students sitting around, possibly having a few beers, talking about uh, you know, ways that they could have students participate in some sort of a fundraising event um, for Telemiracle. How they came upon the bed push, I, I don't know actually. We didn't do much training. I remember we used to always say we'd, we would train and we'd maybe run around campus a couple of times, but we usually ended up in Louis afterwards, <laughs> you know, discussing how good our training session was. Enthusiasm for the bed push has never wavered at the college. Last year, about 30 students per day were involved in the three-day run, which also involves a number of inspiring stops. Yeah, the first day we stopped at the Dendern Elementary School for lunch. They were gracious enough to, to host us. Um, and just seeing all those kids' faces light up and seeing what the College of Ag is all about and giving back to the community, that, that was huge for us. Each year's run ends with a Saturday evening visit to the Telemiracle stage. In 2020, it was especially memorable as the college made its biggest donation ever. The goal was 45000 but we raised $55,011.69. The college has adapted how it raises money. In the beginning, students accepted donations as they traveled on the highway. Now, fundraising reaches further into the community. And in the last, like I said, four to six years, sponsors have really been stressed, getting local businesses involved, really upping the game. And it's grown into something that's beyond our college. Um, it's a true representation of the sport and generosity of the agriculture industry and, and really just the province alone. Uh, we have donations coming from all over the province, from all kinds of families that just want to support Telemiracle. Another evolution to the event is that in 2018, alumni from the college returned to renew their support. In 2020, three generations of Altwassers participated in the run, as Carter, his dad, and his grandfather all took part. As with Telemiracle, tradition and dedication to the cause is what keeps driving the bed push ahead. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's been a it's it's a tradition that carries on. They still use the same bed frame. You know, they've retooled retooled it, made it a lot better. The old frame is still the exact same one that I that I remember pushing back in the uh, mid '80s when I was in the college. Both Telemiracle and the Agros have deep roots in our province. Rural based, small towns, small cities across the province, and I think. You know, one of the draws to fundraising for Telemiracle is, again, just that, that connection to community. I fully expect that this will continue. Telemiracle is full of traditions, and that is always one of my favorite traditions year after year. In a normal Telemiracle year, there would be hundreds of kin and kinet running around and, you know, doing whatever they need to do in their jobs. And this is not, Telemiracle 45 is not quite a normal year, it's a special year. So today we are joined by um, the Watchers Kinet Club via Zoom. That's what makes it special today, is I can chat with you guys, but from afar. How's it going today, guys? Good, how are you? Good, and we've got Jar Jarvis and Jillian. So yes, you, you yes. guys um, are from Watchers, and how did you raise some money for us today? Uh, so we had a few different things that we did to raise money for Telemiracle this year. Uh, we had an online campaign that brought in $700 in donations. Uh, there were various businesses in town that had helping hands uh, in their stores that brought in $386.56 in donations. Wow. Uh, our local Kinsman Club donated $2,000. And 
And then the elementary school did a candy bake sale and raised six hundred and seventy eight dollars and five cents. And then we had a variety of personal donations from people in town for a total of two thousand seven hundred ninety three dollars and thirty nine cents. And then our big fundraiser this year, we did an online auction on Facebook and we raised fourteen thousand four hundred and forty two dollars. So for a grand total, we have a donation of twenty one thousand dollars. $21,000 from the Watchers group. Oh my gosh, thank you guys so much. It's nice to see you. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear, but everyone here is applauding you for all your efforts, <laughs> including myself. So thank you guys for joining us today. It was nice to see you. Um, we're gonna turn it over. The, the donations are not done. We've got more fundraising and more stuff going on. So um, I'm gonna bring on Jeff from the Saskatchewan Rush via Zoom. Hey Jeff, how's it going today? Hey guys, how are you? I'm doing great. This is, uh, an, this is an amazing, amazing thing that we're a part of. Uh, I'm very happy to be a part of it. I know Rush Nation, uh, we, want, we invite everybody a part of Rush Nation to join us in this movement and donate to a great cause. I know last year we hit 30,000. This year we're, we're trying to beat that. Uh, we jump started it with $500. Um, we're hoping to carry carry on with this tradition year by year um, and I, we're just happy to be a part of a great cause and can't wait to be in front of our nation rush nation again in saskatoon and playing games and when the world goes back to normal we're Absolutely. excited for all that so yeah totally so why don't we throw a challenge out to all the rush nation fans right now so that's your cue to donate if you've ever been to a rush game if you're a rush fan you can call that number 306-683-2021 to donate thank you so much for your time it's nice to chat with you today, Jeff. Yes, thank you for having me. You My as pleasure. well. And back to you, Chris. Awesome. Well, thank you both, both of those groups for bringing in all that money. It's, it just never ceases to amaze me. We actually have a third video chat that we're going to do, but this time it's with a performer, and we have uh, young Charlie Anderson Reed, I believe. That is. Hi, Charlie. How are you doing? Good. Awesome. You can hear me. So, Charlie, I understand this isn't even your first time on Telemirco. You're a veteran already, and you're nine years old. Uh, were, were you here with yeah. us last year? Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're so glad you came back. And, and I understand you raised some money for us this year. Yeah, I did. And how did you do that? Uh, my brother set up a GoFundMe page on the internet, and that has raised one hundred twenty-five dollars in total, and my family has asked so many people, their family and their friends, and all in total, we've raised one thousand four hundred and fifty-five dollars. One thousand four hundred and fifty-five dollars. And what we, uh, one thing we want to remind you of, Charlie, is that Nutrien is an incredible partner of Telemiracle, and they are matching Saskatchewan talent like you. If they bring in a donation, they're matching up to a hundred thousand dollars. So your fourteen hundred and fifty-five dollars. Let's see how good my math is. Twenty-nine hundred and ten dollars that turns into. So we thank you an incredible amount for the efforts that you've gone to and the, and the energy that you put into this. And we hope you'll keep coming back year after year. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm intent to. Well, we sure hope you do. Well, and the best part about all this, ladies and gentlemen, is that Charlie Anderson Reed is going to sing us a song. So let's, uh, let's hear what you got from Dalmody, Charlie Anderson Reed. Everybody needs inspiration 
like a dream to me just like kaleidoscope colors that cover me all i need every breath that i breathe don't you know you're beautiful yeah. Well, I hope she meant it, that she intends to come back, because Charlie, I look forward to seeing you next year already. That was an incredible performance, and I love that sparkly dress, too. It's so cute, and you know, with all the donations coming in, I think we need to see a new total Saskatchewan. I think it's about that time. time. Let's see it. All right. Four, Four nine, six, six one. Oh, and we will. We will. And we will. We will always go higher. Yeah, absolutely. It's my pleasure to uh, talk to you about Richard Walser. We've got another bequest. Um, Richard was born in Melfort, Saskatchewan in 1943. He grew up on the family farm. After high school, he attended the University of Saskatchewan. After studying, he longed to return to the farm. Richard spent his life farming, specializing in special seed, select seed production and sales, while sharing his wealth of agricultural knowledge across Western Canada. For many decades, he was also a hail insurance broker. A gifted man, he was skilled in many trades. He was passionate about nature, fishing, picking wild berries, hazelnuts, and mushrooms. In recent years, nothing made him happier than finding a treasure at a yard sale or pawn shop. He enjoyed imparting his corny sense of humor and daily weather forecast on friends and family. He always had time for a friendly chat. He found pleasure in winter trips to warmer destinations. After moving into Melfort from the farm, he became an active member of the Melfort and District Senior Citizens Club. Richard had a soft spot for anybody going through hardship or tough times. He was a willing helper to lend his time encouragement and assistance in whatever ways he could help. He was a gentle, sincere, trustworthy, and generous man. Following his passing in 2020, his sisters found his extensive collection of teddy bears that he had received over the years while being a faithful supporter of Telemiracle. Kinsman Telemiracle would like to thank Richard for his generous gift of $10,000. Thank you so much, Richard. And it's, it's stories like that that always, you know, get to me coming here to Saskatchewan and just seeing that people dedicate a part of their lives um, to, to tell a miracle. Um, it, it's just, it's really heartwarming and it's, it's people like Richard that, you know, it's why we keep coming back and why, why we're still doing this. Uh, but next up, we have uh, on a, a video call, we have Emma and the Glen Lily Highland Dancers. They're going to be dancing for us. How are you, Emma? I'm great. How are you? I'm doing great. So tell us a bit about this dance we're about to see. Yeah, so the dance we're going to be performing today is called Nelson Mandela's Welcome to Glasgow, and it's one of the group's most popular dances. Wow, and how long has this group been dancing together? Uh, so this group was formed in 2000, and it's actually made up of dancers that are over the age of 18 from Wilson School of Highland Dance. Wow, so it's, it's been a while you guys have been all dancing together. That's, that's awesome. And tell yeah. us about how you raised this money for Telemiracle. Yeah, so to raise money, we held a virtual paint night that was led by Emma Wood, who is one of our dancers. And then we also collected a bunch of general donations from our friends and family. And our total today is $2,000. Wow, 
Wow. And just so you know, Nutrien is doubling all of the SAS Talent uh, donations today. So really, you guys raised $4,000, which is incredible. Um, so let's see this dance, the Glen Lily Highland Dancers. Take a look. That was fantastic. You know, the, the oddest thing is that I once saw Chris Henderson do a dance like that. It wasn't anywhere near as um, graceful. 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 Yeah. That's it's funny how we both had that word <laughs> yeah. in our head.
<laughs> um, no, absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, throughout the telethon, when you see the pre-recorded performances um, from our national cast, and even some of the background music that you hear playing, um, it's from a Telemiracle house band that is usually in the pit in the front of the stage, uh, whether we be at TCU Place in Saskatoon or Connexus Arts Centre in Regina. We're really missing those guys this year. They put in a lot of work beforehand, though, pre-recorded all their music, all our backtracks, and uh, we really miss you guys. We hope you're watching at home. We wish you were here with us right now. Yes, uh, you know, absolutely. And there's lots of people we miss, including a couple of guys that are gonna be in this next video, Mr. Brennan Wall, Mr. Justin McRae, that are playing with Jess Mosklute. And I also wanna take a second to congratulate our good friend, a, a family member of Telemiracle, on having the number one most downloaded album last week on iTunes. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's a performance from our very own Ms. Jess Moskluk. You might be wondering what this guy's all about. Um, I'm sure you're not new to Telemiracle, so you know that we have these cute little bears every year. This guy's name is Howie. Um, I believe he was named after Gordy Howe, which is pretty cool for all you hockey fans out there. Um, if you donate $145 or more this year, all you have to do is request Howie, and uh, we will mail one out to you later on uh, once the show is over so you can add them to your collection. Um, I might take this one home. I don't know. We'll see if they yell at me. Anyway, this is Gets Me Quiet. And talented Jess Moskaluk. I think I heard her sing for the first time when she was like 14 or 15 right? years old, and she just keeps impressing me. I know. I, I should be over it by now, no, but no, I'm not. We're never going to be over <laughs> it. That was, what a wonderful performance, Jess, and uh, and thanks for reminding everyone about Howie the Bear because he's a very important part of Telling Miracle. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, speaking of Jess, I think she has an honor presentation for us. I do. Thank you guys so much. I've got some more important stuff to remind you of, including we have just a select 
few amount of people that we actually get to bring in and chat in person, such as yourself. So I know we have a couple of Swift Current Connect here, but uh, introduce yourselves. What are your names? Yeah, I'm Melissa McLean from Swift Currents. Awesome. I'm Get Tracy. nice and close to the mic for me, if you don't mind, so I can hear you. Sorry, Tracy Prang from Swift Current as well. Nice to meet you guys, and you have a presentation for us today? We do, we do. So we have a few um, um, places to mention. Mm -hmm. um, I have some schools. Uh, we got Fairview School with $823.55. Wow. E. Cole Centennial School for $1,222.60. All Saints Catholic School for four thousand four hundred. Um, the City of Swift Current Sunshine Group, five hundred dollars, and our group, the Swift Current Canets, donated twenty five hundred dollars. Wow. Okay, and then we and also have the, the Pioneer <laughs> Co-op donated fourteen hundred and twenty four dollars and twenty five cents. White Cap Resources, eleven thousand fifty dollars. A couple of personal donations from Brent's Titian and Family, 145, Doug Ferguson, 120, and Sheldon and Twyla Fowler, 200. 